In the last episode, we added a ton of detail to the cupcake using render time displacement and adaptive subdivision. Unfortunately, it still looks a bit like plastic instead of actual bread. If we look at a few references of actual cupcakes, we can see that they have a much softer feel to them, even though the surface is rough. This is done using subsurface scattering, which is the effect of light penetrating in the volume of an object and illuminating its insides. Materials with that property are skin, marble, milk and bread for example. So in the material editor, let's expand the subsurface tab and crank the weight to 1. In between values offer a mix of a diffuse shader and a subsurface shader. Which is not the case here. The subsurface shader still takes its color and roughness from the basic parameters. But it also gets affected from the radius and the scale. The radius will determine what is the color of the scattered light inside our cupcake. The three values actually determine a vector, but you can think of them also as the red, green and blue channels of a color. So let's add an RGB node and plug it. Now whatever color we set here will be the scattered color and for this material it's best to stick with something warmer. The scale parameter basically shows how deep light will penetrate. So a higher value will make the cupcake look much softer, while a lower value will give it a bit of an overcooked look. If for some reason you are setting a very low scale, but the effect is still very strong or vice versa, keep in mind that you might have messed up the scale of your object. You can check that from the viewport. If the scale is not set to 1, all the settings you input will be multiplied by that scale. You can also reset it to 1 by hitting Shift plus A and selecting Reset Scale. But this will also affect modifiers, materials and displacements you've set and you need to fix their settings. For this project, being precise with measurements isn't a must, so we will stick with the unrealistically big size. Just hit Ctrl Z to get back to the state where things looked ok. To top of the shader of our cupcake, we can adjust the roughness to our liking. To summarize, we created a subsurface material to better match the feel of bread and learn that object scale can affect our shaders, modifiers and displacements. So far we have done quite a lot using image textures, so in the next episode we are exploring procedural textures and materials. Also if you have skipped some of the previous steps but wish to follow along from here, you can get all the project files from this tutorial series from the link in the description below. I'll also be adding some bonus videos in there if anyone wants to speed up their learning process. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next episode.